Just pick fresh from Niagara Lake on Thursday. Yeah. It'll be about a day and a half to write. Fresh fruit season is here again at last. Perfection, plucked from branches and vines, ready for our unadulterated delectation. Take a minimalist moment and savor the flavors on their own. Now let's spice it up a little. Peaches and nectarines love to be paired with smoked paprika. Remember this simple formula. Peaches plus smoked paprika equals happiness. These flavors were made for each other. Try combining a half teaspoon of smoked paprika with a tablespoon or two of sugar and toss with sliced peaches. I know you're going to love it. Here's another way to combine these flavors. A peach salad with smoked paprika dressing. Make a salad with baby greens, some red onion, tomatoes, and sliced peaches. For the dressing, Combine olive oil, lemon juice, minced garlic, pepper, salt, and smoked paprika. Pour it over the salad, toss, and enjoy. Another surprising flavor pairing is mango and pepper. Try it with a coarse grind of the epicenter Mondo pepper. Mondo pepper is a combination of peppercorns including Sarawak black, Montauk white, Mysore green, Madagascarian pink, allspice, Szechuan pepper, and cubips from Java. This is so simple, yet completely addicting. And now for something completely different, watermelon curry. This is a specialty of the Indian state of Rajasthan. Heat canola oil in a saucepan and add nigella seeds and crushed garlic. Simmer for a couple of minutes, then add roasted cumin, ajwan, Russian patty chili powder, turmeric, and salt. Simmer for another 30 seconds. Next, we're going to add the watermelon rind. Trim away the thin dark skin from the rind and cut the rind and the red flesh of the watermelon into one inch pieces. Add the rind to the spices and fry for about seven minutes. Pour a cup of water into the pan and simmer. After 10 minutes, Add the red flesh and cook until it's softened, about another seven minutes. We don't really see this curry unseating chicken tikka masala as England's favorite takeaway, but the combination of Indian spices and fresh watermelon are definitely worth trying. Serve it up with basmati rice and cilantro. A combination of avocado, lime, roasted cumin, and Aleppo pepper is extraordinary. Combine them in a guacamole or just keep it simple. This is so easy and so tasty. Enjoy! Don't let summer slip by without trying this blueberry crisp with everything nice spice. Start by greasing a baking dish with butter and fill it with a quart of blueberries. Next we make a syrup with a cup of water, sugar, cornstarch and lemon juice. Cook until it's thick and clear, then mix in the vanilla. Pour the syrup over the blueberries and gently stir to combine. In a separate bowl, combine flour, oats, brown sugar, and everything nice. Add 
Add in melted butter and then mix until crumbly. Sprinkle the mixture over top of the blueberries. Bake for 30 to 35 minutes or until the blueberry mixture bubbles and the topping is brown. Here's one more suggestion. Brandied cherries with everything nice. In a small saucepan, combine sugar and everything nice spice with a cup of water and bring to a simmer, stirring until the sugar dissolves. Let it simmer for five minutes. Turn off the heat and add up to a quart of cherries and brandy to the pot. Let it cool, then store the mixture in a jar in the refrigerator for at least two days before eating. It'll keep for several months. These are great over ice cream. The Epicenter Spices are available at Herma's Fine Foods and Gifts. We'll post these recipes on her website at hermas.ca.